wanna be the one you love. Hey guys, it's Mary B bringing you the mayhem and we're coming to a close here on this whole Johnny Depp against the Sun case and uh, closing arguments were heard yesterday and so we're gonna take a look at this because they just they just slam these allegations out there and I just I wanted to go ahead and use an article here that I felt like would go ahead and represent the sort of mainstream media's approach to Johnny Depp in this situation here. So what am I talking about? So Johnny Depp's alleged, again, words, you guys are probably getting used to this by now, against Amber Heard comes from deep misogyny. Court here, that's right, when in doubt, just slap misogyny on it and call it handled, right? So the defense team claimed Johnny, Johnny Depp created a misogynistic persona of ex-wife Amber Heard to paint her as the stereotype of a nagging woman. Ah, look at you, Johnny. Ah, you're so fine. Uh, so Johnny Depp's alleged Nicole and Chanel use words we're not allowed to say inflicted on ex-wife Amber Heard came from a misogynistic place. The London High Court has heard on Monday Sasha Wass closed out the defense of news group newspapers parent company UK tabloid The Sun which Depp 57 is suing for libel after it published a 2018 article calling Depp a wife the actor testified and presented witnesses to claim contrary in the London courtroom two weeks ago. So in closing arguments, Wass said, according to The Guardian, that evidence brought forth in the case showed that a deep misogyny lay at the root of Depp's anger and the anger he felt against Miss Heard, which translated into a word I'm not allowed to say because he felt by her. Why would he feel by her, though. That doesn't even make any sense. So Wasp claimed that Depp manufactured a misogynistic persona of Heard as the stereotype of a nagging woman, accusing her of being a cheater and a gold digger. Well, those things could be true, though. And from what we've seen of her, I think that they're pretty evidently true. So Depp previously testified that he heard he felt Heard targeted him with an agenda to boost her finances and career by marrying him. In text messages read to the court on Thursday, Heard said to her mother, Paige, that Depp was a was a words I can't say, early in their relationship. Wass read out text messages that the actress sent to her mother on March 22nd and 23rd, 2013. So one of the texts reportedly read, it's terrible, mom. I don't know what to do. He's nuts and crazy. I'm heartbroken that this is who I love. She sent another later, it's okay. He's not being to me. The crazy mood swings are hard to handle. Uh, I feel really lost and lonely. He's a madman. I feel I'm on a fastening train, and I but I don't want to jump off. I stay on the train even though I know it's about to explode. An additional text from the Times said uh, in Heard's witness statement obtained by People that the actress claimed that Depp had to kill her and that he that she had felt like a. Uh, so Heard and Depp tied the knot in 2015. She sought a domestic violence restraining order against him, accusing him of abuse. Uh, oof, word I'm not allowed to say. Accusing him of blanking her. This word right here. And Depp denied the claims, and the former couple settled their divorce out of court in August 2016. She donated her $7 million divorce to settlement to charity, and both actors signed NDAs, barring them from discussing their relationship publicly. Depp sued her for defamation in the U.S. after she wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post in 2018, December 2018, in which she described being an alleged dumb of violence. So words I'm not allowed to say. While she never mentioned Depp by name, the actress lawsuit called her allegations against him a hoax. So what does this all boil down to? Again, just basically further, she said stuff, right? So what do you have here for evidence that he's so misogynistic? Just some more texts from Amber saying that he is. Uh, just some more stuff saying, oh yeah, this is how he is. Um, again, more just he said, she said stuff. Whereas Johnny Depp has done a number of producing of witnesses who have classified him as a very soft-spoken, meek, gentle man. Even his exes describe him as a very gentle man. And people have come forth and said, well, the marks on Amber Heard's face uh, weren't there the next day. Uh, and she didn't have makeup on. And I was 12 inches away and I could see her clear as day and there were no marks on her. So there have been multiple instances of Johnny producing people who say, no, this is 
not the person we know, but just slap that old label of misogyny on there and bam, you've got yourself a villain. There was a time when these words meant something, where they carried weight. And so to throw them around haphazardly actually reduces their value. And that's why it's so frustrating. Again, people, people magazine, people, people website, you have no proof here of anything that Johnny Depp did. Just more words. Just more words from Amber Heard. Whereas Johnny Depp has produced multiple witnesses who say the reality of what happened doesn't line up with Amber Heard's statements here. So again, this is coming down to a close, guys. I just don't like these words being thrown around. And the media has been incredibly disingenuous when they present this case forward. It's everything about Amber Heard. Just she's a victim and, and Johnny Depp's a misogynist. And these words are supposed to mean something. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on it. Do me a favor leave your thoughts this thing is winding down and we should have news hopefully here in the next couple weeks about what all what all happens what what we find here in the courts so thanks so much for watching guys and i will talk to you later love love if you enjoyed this video leave a like and be sure to hit that bell for notifications so you can know when i put out new content thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you around